Hello friends, just sharing this interesting case of a 66 year old female patient who had a mid dilating pupil due to pseudo exfoliation with a grade 3 nucleosclerosis cataract. So here I am doing the FACO emulsification after dividing the nucleus into multiple fragments and everything seems to be going smooth at this point of time. I'm feeling happy that the FACO part has gone on well and now I just need to do the cortical aspiration and put the lens in the bag and I will be done with the case soon. I'm almost finished with the FACO emulsification and before I withdraw the probe from the eye, I notice a bulge in the inferior part of the iris which raises the suspicion of a hidden fragment in this area. I try to retract the iris with my FACO probe and use my chopper to tease the piece and take it out. But then I thought it's not a good idea to use a sharp chopper for this purpose and so as anyone would do, I filled the chamber with disco elastic and then used a blunt Sinsky's hook and attempt to mobilize the piece and bring it towards the center. I'm actually not sure if the fragment is under the iris or in the capsular bag. Anyways, using the hook didn't help. So next I thought maybe I should use bimanual irrigation aspiration probes which may be better and less dramatic for retraction of the iris and also the flow from the irrigation cannula may probably help to mobilize the fragment better. However, to my despair, this maneuver also didn't help. So what I decide to do next is to go ahead with the aspiration of the cortical matter and I'm hoping that once the irrigation aspiration is complete and all the fluffy cortex is removed, it may improve the visibility and also chances of retrieval of the fragment. However, even after the irrigation aspiration was done, I wasn't able to find the fragment and probably all the maneuvering which I did actually pushed the fragment to the extreme periphery of the bag. At this point of time, I'm also thinking of using iris hooks or a pupil expansion device which would surely have helped me to approach the fragment in a better and least traumatic way. However, I reserve this option as the last resort and since I'm sure that there is no PCR or vitreous and the bulge is still visible under the iris. I went ahead with the implantation of a single piece hydrophobic monofocal IOL in the bag which was planned for this patient. Now, interestingly, after the lens was put in the bag and as I went behind the IOL to wash the viscoelastic and as I was tapping on the surface of the IOL, I actually see the hidden fragment showing up which I was trying to search since a long time. Most likely the fragment was pushed and was sitting in the extreme periphery of the bag which got dislodged by the placement and maneuvering of the IOL. So finally the fragment was emulsified and everything looked okay. Well. Nothing really great in this case, but the reason why I shared this is just to show that if someone encounters a similar kind of situation where you have a mid dilating pupil and a suspected hidden fragment, then maybe implanting the IOL in the bag may help as it did in the present case. Otherwise, of course, you have the option of using iris hooks and pupil expansion devices to tackle the situation in a better way. Thank you for your kind attention.